Oh, mercy. Well, great evening. I made the mistake of ordering something online and it came today. Well, my mother's maiden name was Paxton and we, you know, she lived in, in York. Well, I read online there's a history in the Paxtons there. This guy did all the genealogy of it and said all the Paxtons are all related and go back to a single source uh, by Scotland, England, by the Scottish borders there by uh, England. And originally came here because of uh, religious persecution, etc. Well, a lot of the Paxtons there are a lot of, uh, quite a few Choctaws with the last name Paxton. So somewhere they intermarried there with Choctaws. Um, I guess the Choctaws also have something to do with the great Irish famine that happened. It's their sister city. And they, uh, actually the Choctaws took care of a lot of people in uh, Ireland. So really interesting. So anyway, the guy says, I'm, I'm selling this Paxton genealogy for the cost of shipping. It's like 20 bucks, you know, I've got the books, some books left. And I go, 20 bucks for shipping? You know, I'm thinking it's gonna be a small little pamphlet, something like this. Well, let me show you what I got in the mail today. <laughs> This is the fifth through the ninth generations. The fifth through the ninth generations. And, oh, this is the first through the fourth. The Are you kidding me? The first through the fourth generations of the Paxton families. Oh my God. This thing weighs, this, this weighs at least 12 pounds, this one book by itself. I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be some, you know, they'll have some charts, something, you know. No, apparently the guy that put this together, he died during the final read through of it. He must have dedicated his whole life to this. I can't believe, I can't believe, believe this. Anyway, I was thinking I was going to take it when I left if I go on my trip, but uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think I got into a little more than, I bit off a little more than I can chew on this one. But because uh, <laughs> I tried to do the genealogy and it's really difficult because there are so many John Paxtons and so many that were in my Pennsylvania area, and then they, I guess, originally came to that. Well, my grandfather was still in that area, okay? But unfortunately, my family's all gone. My grandfather died a long time ago. My mother passed. Her mother passed when she was really young. So it's been really kind of dead ends trying to research things because I don't even know my mother's uh, mother's name to really research it. So, um, well, we'll see how this goes, if I can shush it out, you know. But it should have my grandfather and my mother. She's got a sister. She's got a half-brother. We'll see if they have it actually in here and that I can trace it back a little further to see exactly what all's going on. Good luck with this. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, light reading, it's not. Anyway, so I'm going to kind of take some time and kind of run through this and see what I can find. It looks interesting, though. I mean, it's got, it's got the coats of arms. It's got, you know, the... Uh, about how the name changed throughout time from Paxton to Paxson to Paxson, um, that they went through some changes of the name. Um, just interesting and about when they had come over and where they were in uh, England and Scotland, they were on the borders, by the borders. There is a Paxton town 
in Scotland and it's by the borders area. So anyway, and then I was trying to do research and I saw there were the Paxton brothers and that actually goes through that here that were, yeah, they were killing uh, indigenous people, the Paxtons, but th then I read that they weren't actually Paxtons, had nothing to do with Paxton. Why they used that name, I don't know, but there were no Paxtons actually involved in that. Um, thank God, you know, ah, but I'm going, really? The Paxtons, and they were, you know, they killing a bunch of Indians, the Paxton brothers. Then I found out, no, it's not, they're not actually Paxtons. So thank God for that. But I'm hoping that it goes into the, uh, where they intermarried in, into the Choctaws. And uh, because there are quite a few Choctaws with the last name of Paxton that are full on the road, uh, full native. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see if that chases that down in here as well just interesting things to look into. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a great evening and uh, I'm gonna kinda thumb through this and find, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this thing. It's daunting, I'm telling you. Anyway, so thanks for tuning in tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, my flute comes, and today, the, uh, the batteries for my camera, the battery charger came today, so I'll be able to go out and get some good video. Hopefully, I can get video that I want to do, so I can do some music with it. So, I'm really getting everything ready to... Uh, ready to go. We'll see if I've got enough energy once I get to the flute festival to continue down the road, but I'll find out soon. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's another week before I go, so I'll be here for a while. So please continue to send in your questions. Even when I'm on the road, when I stop for the evening, I still get online and uh, catch up with everything and do the readings and, uh, you know, nothing changes whether I'm here or whether I'm on the road. It still goes down the same way okay it just takes me longer to get to the questions uh, because I'm driving all day or stop doing something but uh, I do get to it daily okay so anyway I will see you online thanks for tuning in and uh, hey if nothing else I can use them for oh, wait oh, yeah. <laughs> And get some muscles lifting those things. <laughs> I'll see you online, okay? <laughs>